guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana, if you're new here, and I am a 2022 bride to be. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, this is a wedding planning vlog in my wedding series. So far, you have seen me get engaged in Santorini. You have come with me to say yes to my dream dress. We have also said yes to the dress again for my rehearsal dinner slash welcome party outfit. And you saw me propose to my bridal party. We are getting married, my fiance and I, Matt, in August of 2022. Oh, I don't know. We're about like roughly 200 ish days out from the wedding. So far I have the venue booked. I have the photographer, videographer, DJ, my makeup artist and her team that's coming up to do my bridal party and then my hair dresser. So to spare you this extremely long introduction, let me just get to the gist. In this video, we will be going through my invitations. And then I have a ton of linen samples that the linen company I'm working with sent over for my napkins and also tablecloths, not for the reception tables, but for little tables around the reception ballroom. For example, our cake table, um, cards, guest book table, things like that. Just like the special, oh, and maybe our, our sweetheart table. So we'll go through those. And I also want to show you some gifts that I've gotten that tie into my wedding day and the flowers because <laughs> I did have a phone call with the florist last week and I'll just show you like what I want my wedding vision to look like. With that said, let's just get into this video. <laughs> Sorry for the long intro, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a wedding video. And also I will be starting work days in my life as well. So if you're interested in corporate legal job, in Manhattan lifestyle type videos, then definitely subscribe. All right, I'm excited. Let's get into this. All right, and now invitations from Ooh La La and, or I I'll keep on saying Ooh La La, but it's Ooh Ah and Minted. All right, so let's get into the Ooh Ah invitations first. This is definitely one of my top contenders because this Matt actually said he liked a, liked the best when I asked him this one or the rectangular one. So let me show you. So I'm gonna lift that a little bit. So when you pull it out, it's like a book very grand and royal opening it up inside you have the information with our names date time where it is reception to follow and then on this side it has whatever your rsvp card information I don't know what this wishing well thing is. I've never seen that in the invitation before, but it's like hard to get back in. But interesting. Might be an Australian thing, not 100% sure. <laughs> I think maybe like this could be a little bit more taupe, the monogram in the back. But you know, it's something that I just will have to, once I make my inquiry and ask for a quote, that'd be something that I would speak to the designer of the invitations about. So the next, which is another, which I thought was another option, but of course, you know, I do want Matt's opinions on some things. And I feel like when I'm caught in between two options, he always helps me decide. So if he thinks the other one, and these two are also very similar, then I would go with the other one because either one I think is beautiful. So this one's very long, I'm trying to get it all in one shot. But again, it has the date, our name, all the information. And then on the back, our monogram, date, and 
again, another wishing well card, which I don't know what that means. Our fairy, fairy tale and dreams have all come true and our most special gift to share with you. We've chosen a wishing well for the day that will help towards our future in every way. I don't know what that is. It's definitely an Australian thing. Like maybe that means like bring money to put in our wishing well. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of cute, but yeah. <laughs> so this is that. It just is, it's, it's bored. It's, you can't bend it. It's very thick and nice and sturdy. And I love how it comes in this protector case. How I would ship these, uh, the postage on them would probably be a lot, but you know, that's something I'll <laughs> figure out when the time comes. And now minted. So it also comes in this really nice box, nice presentation. So when you open it up, they have a nice belly band is what they call them with your reply and then the invitation. This is pretty, but just not my, just not what our wedding style is, is, but beautiful. Mint, it also comes with all of the paper. You'll be able to see how the colors transpire on both types of paper. And that's all the colors that they offer. They have so many different, so the double thick paper, their Lux Museum board, which is even thicker than the double thick paper. All of the envelope colors. Beautiful. That's the blush that I used. The silver is really pretty too. The foil and gloss options. I use the glittery golds for my law school graduation party invitations. But for the wedding, I would just do the gold. So now let's move into my kitchen where I have my little sweetheart table set up. That's not going to really look like my sweetheart table, but we can just try to fake it till we make it so we can look at these linens because I need to make a decision so this lady can draw up the contract and we get that set in stone. So let's go. Can we have a minute for these gorgeous plates? The freaking champagne flutes with the pearl detail and the gold engraving. Oh my God. My mom nailed it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Didn't tell her that I wanted anything like this, but I was gonna get something for myself, like just exactly like that. But she killed it, killed the game. I didn't like fully unwrap the plate and everything, just kept it in the plastic wrap because I don't wanna get it dirty, but I did wanna pull it out just to put the linens on top to see what matches. Here's our cake knife and server engraved. Absolutely stunning, I have it wrapped, um, but it has the same detailing on the handles, a pearl with ivory, so beautiful. My mom, once again, killed it. And then the matching cake forks, we'll use these to feed each other. How beautiful. I really, I really love it. It also came the set with two candlesticks that have pearl, which you can't really see because they're wrapped and I'm not going to open them, but then this big candle that has the pearl. And I'll probably just set it up at our table. I'll have to get some acrylic candlestick holders. And then just to kind of give you the, the sense of what the vibe is, I had these fake white roses so I put them on the table here so you can kind of get the gist. And my aunt got us this vase with our wedding date and our names. So super cute, super cute. Let me just give you an up close of the flute. It was kind of hard to see in that other light, but oh, it's beautiful. And then I have another one obviously for Matt. And then wall pearl here just exquisite. For our linens, we're using BBJ Linen, which is available nationwide, I believe. I was actually watching a 
wedding show. It's new on VH1 called My Celebrity Dream Wedding, and they use BBJ. All the wedding planners are based in Atlanta, I believe, so yeah. These two, this is an option for one of the special tables, so the sweetheart table, which, so let me see. I think this would be nice underneath with the whole vibe of things. Let's see if we put this. It's really hard to tell, honestly, but I do think it would go. I think I like this versus, this is the other tablecloth color I picked. No, absolutely not. Okay, so I'll just try it on here. So. No. All right, so I'm gonna say ivory contour for our table. All right, now here are all of the napkin samples that I requested. We'll start with the more pinks and then go to the beige. So I would say this Lotus Lennox is probably the most unique color and pattern. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say this is not, this is not the vibe. It's not going to, it's gonna be too much clash with at least at our table. And it's just not, not what I'm thinking, not what I'm envisioning, especially with the more gold here, that's what the charger plates are gonna be looking like. All right, not our, not the one. So put that in the no pile. All right, moving on. Let's try this because this is, this is called Cameo Shantung. And it's very, it's like a silk. A little bit, has a little bit of shine to it. Definitely more pink. No. Okay, so I'm gonna say nay on that one, but I don't wanna put it in the absolutely not pile. So let's just, I'll put it back to where it was. Moving along, staying with the pinks. We'll do the cameo velvet. She sent me doubles, so it's actually kind of nice because then I can just, I don't know how they're gonna exactly layer the napkin, but I'm gonna layer it right now. The non-velvet side up there, and then this is the velvet side. The velvet side is a little bit darker. It's nice. So this is the classic napkin. So let's go with, let's try this. This is the Cameo. It's still the same color from what I just showed you, just in a different texture. I don't like that. I think I can actually put that in the absolutely not pile. So. Easy. Absolutely not. Okay. Now, this is this is Matt's favorite fabric, like texture, but it's not. This wasn't the color that he liked. He liked the bone. But we're still gonna lay it. No. Sticking, I guess, with the texture that Matt likes. This is Matt's favorite, okay? Let's keep this in mind as we look at this, the bone. And you know, we might, you know, we might like it or we might have to veto him. Oh, I do like it, I have to say. The way it's vibing, just look at the way it's vibing here. Look at the way it's vibing with this, just overall. Oh, okay. Shoot. <laughs> Possibly the one. Definitely not. Let's stick with the bone trend. This is, so, bone. But this is bone and velvet. Which I, this is kind of like my favorite. Which they actually are different colors. I don't know if that's just like the cut or what, but. Mm. 
that's a little bit closer. This is the velvet side. This is the non-velvet side. I like, I like it too. I don't know guys, what do you think? I do really think I like Matt's Choice the best because it also has a little bit of texture, whereas it will just, for the regular reception tables, we're just gonna have a white linen tablecloth that comes with the venue. So it will add a little texture to the overall place setting. Uh, we have a lot of texture going on because we have the pearls and everything and we're gonna have this tablecloth, but the regular tables will not. And you know, I'm just gonna give Matt the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't like the velvet, and if maybe other people won't like wiping their face with velvet either. <laughs> then the last one is this beige, which is significantly darker than all of the rest. Which, mm, now that I'm looking at it, I kinda do like. It matches well with the gold of our last name. I like it too. I knew I would like the beiges. I think I'm gonna have to ask Matt. But ultimately, I, I feel like he'll pick the bone. So that is a wrap on the linens. I think I have a solid idea of what I'm going to do and what I'm picking. Definitely the ivory and for our special tablecloth. And then I'm just going to ask Matt when he comes home later what he thinks about either the beige or the bone that he originally liked and then i'll send that off to the presses and then i'll be able to get a better idea of what that's going to cost us and i want to share three more things with you so number one i have this vision which i'll put up here wedding day morning as i'm getting ready in my hotel room bridal suite i'm going to have my dress on a mannequin so i bought the mannequin on amazon i will link it Everything's gonna be linked below. So anything that I can link, I will link in the description box in case you're wondering. Right now I have a silk robe on it, which was sent to me by Six Stories. So they gifted me this gorgeous silk bridal robe, but my best friend already bought me a silk bridal robe for my getting ready, which I'll be wearing. And that one is from Monica Blanc. And I will also show you what it looks like because it's packed away in a zipped, bag i don't want anything to get on it the robes are very similar i got um a very long robe from my best friend and the one that still sick the one that six story sent me is also a beautiful long robe which i'll probably bring on my honeymoon and, and things like that so let me show it to you and it's on the mannequin that i bought to put my gown on i usually keep it in my closet but i brought it out here just so you can have a little bit better view it is really beautiful. If you're more of a simple, minimalistic bride, this robe is for you. Because my robe has all ostrich feathers on the sleeves. And this mannequin, very easy to put together. And I kept the box so I can bring it with me easily up to New Hampshire in the car. And then I'll just set it back up again in my room. And here, I saw these and I had to snag them because my size comes few and far between. But these I will be wearing to match my robe as I get ready on my bridal morning. They're by Jeffrey Campbell. And they're so cute. I definitely can fluff them a little bit better, but <laughs> they're going to go back in the box, so it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, that's the vibe. This is the getting ready morning vibe, except I'll have matching feathers on the robe. <sighs> I am getting married in New Hampshire. I am not from New Hampshire. My fiance is, and we live in New York. So finding some vendors that I can truly trust as I was con like considering renting fake silk flowers. And I was looking into that, but when I spoke to this florist that I found, she recommended to me to do some fake filler white flowers in 
my centerpieces. I don't want any greenery in my flowers. With that said, let's just take a look real quick. I'll pop up on the screen here what the vibe is like. I'll show you right now. So if you'd like to follow me on Pinterest, you can at Bikinis and Bellinis. You'll be able to see all of these pins and more as I continue to save. Okay, so we're going into Bridal Inspo. I have a lot of boards and this is how I've basically planned the aesthetic and theme of my wedding so far. Pinterest saves the day as always. Okay, so we're going into reception flowers. This is really, this is really the vibe. All white, no greenery whatsoever. I would like to stay with all white roses, but for the larger centerpieces, she is going to mix in like here, there's lilies actually. No, not lilies, um, orchids, sorry, mixed in. What she asked me if that was something that I would like, but I said no, but I think she will take these. I think it's card, I don't know what kind of, what this white thicker flower is, but she has fake of those and they can use that as filler. And I, you know, as long as it's white, I don't really care. This is very similar to what my tables will look like because I want the, the gold charger plates. I want the candlelight and then the large centerpiece with a acrylic or clear vase in the middle. So you can kind of get the gist here of what I'm going for. All white, some gold accents. We are probably, if it does fit within the budget, I would love to do a rose flower wall for the cocktail hour and then because we are having an outdoor cocktail hour and then if they could she said that they have wheels on her flower wall situation she can wheel that in to the reception which is really nice that we could probably take pictures in front of that thought that would be fun for the guests this is a good example of what i'd want on tables that don't have the large centerpieces because the large centerpieces are big bucks I don't know exactly how much she's going to charge. I also don't even know at this point how many tables I am going to have. So, you know, I have a broad rough count on my guest list right now, since we are so far out. And that will be something that I'll have to decide down the line. But yeah, so this is kind of what I'm thinking on the tables that don't have the big centerpieces. That's a good example of what I'd want at our sweetheart table. Let's see if I can zoom in. She's going to do a, what do you call that? <laughs> like a garland. Yeah, she's going to do a garland around. I don't think our table will look like that with the gold. That's a very grand, but this is, you won't even be able to see us behind that. That's really big. I think she'll do something a little bit more subtle, not as large. So we don't get lost in that arrangement. I am going to buy my own fake rose petals and then there won't be grass because it's happening on a rooftop. So, but that's what I want. And then actually this is a pretty good example as well for my ceremony. I'm going to have two little, two flower, tall flower arrangements on pedestals at the head of the aisle and then two more down next to where we will stand and say our vows. I wanted to maybe do a arch slash chupa whatever you call it but again if i'm going to really budget then i can't have everything i want and that's something that will the ceremony is going to be 30 minutes 45 minutes and then the, the arch is gone so for me it's fine i don't need the arch but i do want to pay more attention to the reception flowers also, we'll get some signage. I really like this type of welcome sign with the ro with roses instead of the orchids because we're doing roses. And also, I will show you the bouquets. Very particular as well with the bouquets. This is exactly like what I would want just with the stems, maybe a little bit shorter and having it just wrapped clean with the all white reflexed roses. I see how the roses come out and they're fully bloomed. That's what I want all of them to look like. Mine will be bigger like this one and then the bridal party will get smaller bouquets maybe around this size. 
and then the boys will also get white roses no greenery i probably wouldn't even have like in this photo they have the leaves i would want all of that taken out taken off cut off away toodaloo <laughs> more so this is my iconic like i love this the way this bouquet looks the white for my bridesmaids and then i would even want mine to be a little bit bigger than that ideally and i think that's it for flowers and for lighting and production i'm working with pink tie productions this is what the vibe is i'm thinking i want to do something that still allows there to be mostly white bright photos even when the lights are down and i sent him these pictures basically saying like what lighting do i need to create this mood in the room he's worked in our ballroom before so he knows what he's dealing with and i really if i could have everything that i want with this up lighting i would like up lighting on the side of the room i would like to have pin lighting on the centerpieces as i said i've also spoken with him about a white dance floor i don't think the monogram will be on it like vinyl wraps like they are in these photos but they offer a lighted monogram so they can shine the light onto the dance floor with our custom monogram which is cool would love to do that and they also do drapery which is something that i'm interested in on the walls possibly there's a stage area in our ballroom so i would want to drape that with white and they also do twinkle lights which is super cool and romantic and beautiful so that's that's what i'm thinking i emailed him last week hasn't gotten back to me yet as far as what pricing would be for what i want so i really don't know if i'm going to get all of that stuff <laughs> but i'll keep you posted i know that was a lot but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up give me a subscribe and comment down below what other wedding planning or wedding series vlogs you'd like to see throughout the wedding planning process and also just my celebrations i will definitely without a doubt vlog my bachelorette that is already booked may 19th that weekend so i'm very excited for that my bridal shower uh any just any wedding events i will try to vlog as best i can but in the planning process let me know what you guys would like to see and yeah that's about it thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.